really appreciate um, the support from the guys. I mean, I've done SW4 before, before, but not done it um, in the in the above and beyond stroke and junior guys. And the guys are good friends of mine, but at the same time, you know, it's one thing having friends; it's another thing um, having the support as a DJ and belief in what you do musically. And uh, I really love what they do. It's it's nice to know that the, the feeling's mutual. I think the thing about festivals is it's not really where you, it's not like the cold face of DJing where you go to a club and you um, you kind of road test stuff in a more clubbing environment. You're, you're playing the tunes you know are going to work, but at the same time, you're, it's very, very important to have your own um, musical identity and not simply play one, one big tune that everybody else is going to play after the, after the next. And of course, the obvious really about festivals is just the size of the crowd, the fact that um, you've got a massive audience in front of you, particularly at the better festivals, and SW4 is bang up there with the best festivals in terms of atmosphere. You know, I've done it, to my knowledge, every year since it's, since it's existed, and um, the crowd are just so clued up when it comes to tunes, and you, you couldn't really ask for more, really. But sometimes you can do festivals that are very big and a little bit faceless, and you, you, you can't carve your musical identity quite as much as you'd like, but at SW4, you've got the, the dual bonus of being on one of the best stages with um, a bunch of DJs you really get on with and you know performing on the in, in the musical environment that you absolutely love and having that audience in front of you just know what the hell they're doing which which is just you know it's one of those ones I'm really really looking forward to this summer. Well, SW4 is really London's only dance festival. Uh, London being um, Europe's biggest city, certainly Western Europe's biggest city, and um, having an incredibly strong dance culture, yet only having one festival, which is kind of capped at about 25,000 capacity, is a bit surprising, really. So tickets sell out really early. It's a, it's a market where people are just so clued up musically. And it's the, the showpiece festival, bang in the heart of London. Um, it, which just says it all. Of course, I'm a Londoner. I'm a Londoner born and bred. So everything just at ticks. You know, and the reason it's only cliche, every single one of the multitude of boxes is ticked. I guess any gig in Southern California is always good. I mean, the US has blown up massively this year, um, and. The west coast of the US is, generally speaking, where the epicenter of dance culture is in America, with a few exceptions. So any of the festivals I've done over the west coast side, um, Beyond Wonderland um, is something I did two or three months ago. That would definitely have to be one of them. That's a really difficult question to answer because what you do as a DJ is come a combination, playing the right tunes, mixing them correctly, uh, and having stage presence. And as long as you get all three of those right, um, then you've done the job well. And here's how I can kind of tick all those three boxes. You gotta gather what you need. You gotta choose a